2003, there came out a special series on Cartoon Network called Teen Titans. It had five seasons of video game and movie, and now a reboot show called Teen Titans Go, plus a movie for that called Teen Titans Go to the Movies, with a little special ending at the end that we're going to get to at the end of this video. But today we're talking about what made the original Teen Titans show great. Welcome back to another episode of Golden Days Cartoons. I'm Jerry from Uncle Jerry the 50 Productions on the USD 2000s channel. And uh, roll the intro. <laughs> So what's so special about a show with an acrobatic boy that secretly does crime fighting at night and is the apprentice to the, one of the greatest superheroes ever? Another boy that can literally change into any animal he so thinks of? A man that's part cyborg? That one's pretty self-explanatory. An alien that's also maybe in love with the acrobatic boy? And finally, a daughter whose dad is a demon from hell. Each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Besides being the superhero version of The Breakfast Club, this show has a lot to offer. So one thing I always come back to from my childhood when I think about Teen Titans is that relationship between Starfire and Robin. I mean, they teased the <laughs> out of us. Do they ever get together? We don't know because they never tell us. They had five seasons. But still, it's one thing that makes the show great. It gives a personal connection between the two characters. And just through all the clip, it, it's a good clip. Let's fly. But as long as we're together, we'll be okay. <laughs> Aw, hang in there, Robin. You'll get out of the friend zone. If I can, you can too. Another thing that really made the Teen Titans great is their whole connection as a family and how they're always willing to see the best in each other and work together no matter how times get tough. In this clip, Beast Boy actually goes after Terra, wanting to see the best in her and knowing that she can overcome her demons and demons being Deathstroke. After all, if Robin can get away from Deathstroke, so can Terra. So in this clip, well, I'll let it speak for itself. That's my good little girl. You have to stop me, Beast Boy. Please. I don't want to fight anymore. Then don't let Slave control you anymore. I have no choice. That's a lie. You've always had a choice. Tara. No. He's too powerful. I can't stop him. Yes, you can. It's your power, not his. You can still control it. You can still do the right thing. It's too late. Stop! Strike, Apprentice. Now! Tara, no! It'll be the last thing you ever do. I gave you an order! Do it! Please, Tara, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Listen to us, Tara. You're not by your choice. Don't do this! It's your life, Tara. Your choice. It's never too late to change. As you can see, I think one thing that possibly makes it the best cartoon superhero show in the early 2000s was its drama. I know the whole Teen Titans reboots, this whole comedy and everything's really lighthearted and same thing with the Benton reboot. If you want some thoughts about that, I'll link the episode in the iCard and at the end of the video you can see what made Benton great and then the reboot not so much. Because a lot of this applies to Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Maybe Teen Titans was too dramatic. Maybe it focused a little more on the dark side and needed some of the comedy that the new Teen Titans Go gives us. But there's obviously something that made it special as Teen Titans Go has been teasing us with the Teen Titans universe for a while. The latest example of this is the new Teen Titans Go to the movies, where at the end there's a post credit scene of this. Is it working? 
Almost got it. Hurry, there is not much time. They need to know we're still here. Booyah, we're transmitting. This is the Teen Titans. Can anyone hear us? We think we found a way back. Now, whether this means we're getting Teen Titans Season 6 or not, I don't know. Maybe they'll do a special one hour with the Teen Titans and the Teen Titans go together. That might be cool. But I think it's safe to say that Teen Titans was one of the best superhero shows in the early 2000s. The characters, the family connection, the love drama, all the drama. Even the villains being Deathstroke and having the whole storyline of Robin being Deathstroke's apprentice. They all just work so beautifully together, and I think Teen Titans paved an era for this whole superhero TV with Young Justice down the road, or maybe even the new DC superhero TV shows, because Teen Titans has been praised by fans. As we wrap up today's video, let me know what your favorite moment from Teen Titans was and why you loved the Teen Titans. Was it because of their cool building? I like the building too. Like, very discreet, right? Like, if I was a super villain and I saw that and I was hunting the Teen Titans, I totally wouldn't be like, I bet they're not in that building. Also, if you would like to see your favorite cartoon on Golden Days Cartoons, comment it down below, and on Friday, Saturday, or maybe even Sunday, we will have a post in the community section of our channel that looks like this, where you can vote on what episode you want to see next. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe and check out our other shows. I've been Jerry. Thanks for watching. Peace out.